Welcome in. So what we're going to do today is a little bit different. We're going to mix it up a little bit. We're going to do all the little things on Hogsmeade again. Uh, we're going to work on this stuff in the back. Uh, we really need to work on the back. Um, we need to start cleaning it up. We worked on the front a lot on stream. I feel like if we work on the back on camera for today, since Monday's not going to be a build day on stream, I'll get you another Insight Series video by Tuesday. Hopefully there'll be one on Monday, but we'll at least get you another one by Tuesday. We'll do the uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. That's the one that Raymond is getting. So, Well, actually, we'll probably do the Potions classroom first. We're going to do two classrooms in my house. We're going to do the Potions classroom, and we're going to do Hermione's favorite. So... I'll put a poll up and you guys can vote for that next. And we'll see where we get with that. And then we got a surprise build on Thursday on stream for the inside. We're getting there. So we're going to pick all those trees up. All the ladders up. Take down all the flowers. We're going to go take these trees and put them somewhere else for a little bit. And we are going to work back here and fix this today. For a little bit on video. We'll keep working on the insides. The reason I'm doing that is because I have to keep gathering things. Oh, I need to talk about something. Hang on a minute. Forgot. I don't think... I, yeah, I have a ladder. Cool. As I say, I don't think I have a ladder in my pocket. Okay. So I took this all down. I will be fixing this because it was a hot mess. So we're going to fix this. We might even look for another stone path on here this morning. But I do want to talk about this. So, Angie, Nana Z Gaming, sent me some mail for the build. So if you're not subscribed to Angie, you really should go do so. She does games like Dinkum, Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley. Um, there are a few others, but I think that's her main ones anymore. So go check her out and subscribe to her channel. She's on the way to 500 and... Um, I would love to see her get there and accomplish her goal. Crispy is a subscriber and a friend. And um, she's great. She sent, she sent me some mail for the build. She sent me some gold dishes for the build. This I'm not going to talk about because this is for the surprise. So I don't want to give away what Angie sent. But she sent me golden dishes. And Angel is a friend and a mod. And she sent me mail for the build for the insides. And these are the golden dishes. So we'll go ahead and go ahead and go set these down on the tables and put these out and thank these people in the right way. Um, we won't talk about what Angie gave me. We'll just put it up. So let's put the dishes down. Where are the dishes? Oh, it's Raymond's going to visit us. Hey, Raymond, come on in. Hey, sorry to drop in and out. You know, I like to do introduce myself to Findo. Oh, that's right. I picked out something tasty for you. Hope you like it. Okay, what is it? It's a peach. It's always a peach. All right, I've got an extremely serious proposal. Want to play a game? Let's do it. The game is high card, low card. Cool. If you guess right, I'll give you a track jacket. As the games begin, Defendo, I'll draw the first card. And we've got the number eight. So the big question is, will the number on my next card be higher or lower than eight? And I'm going to say it's going to be lower. The card is in hand. As their mother's got higher and lower than the original eight I drew lower. Which will it be? Which will it be? This is so exciting. It's two, you win. Yay. As promised, I will not hand over your track jacket. Okay. It's not going to let me decorate or anything while he's in here. He said that was a blast to Findo. Plus, it was great training for my future career as a game show host. 
That's good, Raymond. We might need one of those for Crossings Clues. So if you just, I've learned something. If you just sit down, they'll walk around for a minute. And then all of a sudden, when you get back up, they'll say, oh, I got to go. But he is a cutie patootie. Let's take a picture while he's in here together. Because he'll do it while he's in here. Or he should. Wait till he comes back. Wait. Let him come back. He's just looking it all over. Now he will tell you some stuff about your house whenever. Um, he gets done looking around. Let's see if we can just get him to. No need to get me a cold glass of carrot juice or anything. Really no need at all. It's not like my throat is parched and my lips are made of sand. And a wild glass of carrot juice would be delightful after all. I've never seen him have that dialogue. I just don't do this with these guys this often. Well, turn around, Raymond. I suppose I should probably get going now. All right, see you later. Yeah, time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? Until next time. Ever, 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 Defendo. He's so cute. That's okay. We'll get photos out of his visit anyway, because it's on camera, so it's all good. So what I was doing is this. Um, Let's do, let's see, do I have a workbench in my pocket? I'm not sure if I do or not. Just let me look. Nope, oh, let's get one out. Hopefully no one else comes to visit, but oh well, if they do, they do. I hardly ever let them, and I feel bad about it, but I'm usually so busy. Okay, let's do this. So, actually, Angel sent me some recipes for the dishes. So, we're going to make a few. We're going to hold, we're going to see if they'll let that hang the golden plates on the wall. So, let's see what we got here. We're going to craft. We're just going to work on some of the little things on Hogsmeade that we need. Ooh, I need gold. Okay, we're not going to be doing this today. So, we'll just put these plates on for now and then I'll go get some. Well, I don't think I have any right now. No, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. What was there? Okay, let's go into this mode. I don't think I should be playing today. <laughs> I think I should be playing today. I think I should just be like, nope. What did I take down? Like, was that... A piece of art or something. Let's look in my pocket. I didn't think it was that because I didn't think I hung a bunch of them. I guess it was though, so let's just let's just put it back. Maybe I did. We'll put it back there. I don't necessarily know if that was what was there, but we'll do it. We're also going to turn this plate around so you can see it. And then we're going to put another one on the table, which will come from my pockets. And then I'll get some more gold and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll work with this some more. I don't think I should be doing this today, guys. All right, let's go work on the outside for a while. But that's kind of working on the inside series. Um, I don't know if I can make a defense against the dark arts classroom today or not. Um, I'll try to work on that when I get home. I'll look it up. I'll see what items I have. I'll try to put it together. I'll try to get you some more inside very videos for next week. Um, it's a matter of logistically getting what you need gathered up. So that it makes it kind of hard. Let's see if we got a... Storage shed. If not, we're not going to worry about it right now. What we're going to actually do is this. Okay. I just want everything to... Okay. So let's look for some gray brick. When I say gray brick, I mean... Like the brick I have down in Hogsmeade and stuff. Like I put down recently. I just want gray. But I know you can't put it in like that. So we're just going to do brick and we're going to look at it. We need something that will go in the snow. So let's just do it. 
just all the little things on Hogsmeade, which is just requiring me to build today. So I hope you're going to enjoy it. We'll chat about things. Got a lot of fun things coming to the channel. Got an announcement that will come out today. Pretty exciting stuff. And then uh, design challenge winners today. Like, I like this. This is a nice, simple pattern. Let's try this. Some of these don't look like they would go, but then when you put them down, they look pretty good. So we'll try it. I like that. Let's just find easy gray ones to put down. I don't want anything complicated because it gets hard. We can put the dirt underneath the stone. Just an easy gray one to put down. Some of it is so nice, but it's just, for me, I have a hard time laying them down if they're too overly complicated. So that's why I liked, ooh, this one's a good, this is a snowy one. Okay, let's look. That was on page 13, I'll remember. I just haven't seen any that I that I fall in love with. Like this looks good, but it kind of looks I don't know. I like this one a lot. I like this one too. I kind of like this one. It's kind of nice. Let's just keep looking. Actually, I think that might be my favorite one, to be truthfully honest. I like the different ones. That one pattern I picked the other day for, um, over by Able Sisters, where I built the little coffee cafe. If you haven't watched that stream, you really should go do so. That one's, that one's good. We built the whole three broomsticks out there. And that brick was really nice. I liked it. Sometimes you can really find some nice stuff. Just what I mean by that is just for your build itself. Everything's nice. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, this is cute. If you're going to do like kit core, that's really cute. Just look in here to see what I see. That would be good for a road, but not really building a road. You know what I mean? They didn't really make much gray, so it's hard to choose. I do like this, though. I just don't know if the snow would wash it out. It might. Because it's not outlined very good. Alright, let's try the one we got. I think the one we got is pretty good. Let's try it. Let's see what we think. I'm going to close it. We're going to put some dirt underneath it first. And I promise you that the next time we choose codes, we're going to do it. I'm going to grab a bunch from Pinterest on the next island. And we're going to, like, put them in order of how we're going to use them. Because that will be helpful. Okay, now let me see. Let's lay it down. Which one was it? This one? I don't know, though. But it would match the castle walls. Oh, I kind of like this. It's a little bit different than Hogwarts, but not bad. Yeah, we're going to use this one for sure this time. So, let's go ahead and start this process. Because we got to put this all back together. So, what I'm really going to do is this. 
and I want to show you. I'm going to climb down here. I'm going to add more space in. So, I, I have been thinking that we really need more space. Um, I had thought about taking the whole cliff down, to be honest with you. But I think I'm just going to add more space. Um, it, I'm not going to add so much space that you can't get down to Harv's Island. Or Red's. Red's Beach is what I'm trying to say. Sorry, guys. But I am going to add space onto here so that we can, like, get stuff on. We're going to pass it all out. We're going to put all the castle walls back. This is just something. Oh, look, I found another umbrella. I wonder if I'll find bells, too. And eggs. Pretty soon, we got a new challenge coming up. Um, May the 20th, which is a Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to have the Ramen 500. That should be fun. And that will be the last big event we'll have on this island. So, be sure not to miss that and miss that stream. There will be eight spots. And we're only taking eight people. I can only have eight people on the island at a time. So, if you went in on it, make sure to get here during the stream and we'll see what we can do there's gonna be a million bells up for grabs you're gonna hunt for the milk carton the milk carton only so there's gonna be three milk cartons three chances to find it and win the first person to find the milk carton gets a million bells and the second one gets gets 500,000 and the next one gets um, 250,000 so we've kind of upped the stakes it should be a lot of fun. We're going to build onto this. This will help us. We're going to smooth all the edges out today. We're going to really work on this together. So um, I hope this is something you guys enjoy, but this has to be done. So this is what we're going to do today. Bustle. All right, land bridge, waterfall. We could check out the campsite that we moved on stream the other night. It looks good. We're getting there. We're gonna climb down here. We're gonna add more space here, which will allow us to add more space there. It's a process. I'm going to take out that in. When I do this, I want to kind of keep them separate, edged up good. I want them to look nice on the map, but we got to add more space. So, that's what we're doing right now. Got to build these cliffs out. So we can get everything on them. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to get it all on there. And um, so we've got to do this. Now we're going to climb up here with this ladder. And we're going to put more space on the front of here. And we're going to hope that this looks right because I really don't want to take this all out. I will if I have to. But I don't want to have to if I don't have to. I just want to keep adding the space in and seeing what I can get. It's like, let me add it. There is it. Okay, well, let's climb back down then and add more down here. So they mean like I just didn't space this out right when we build the Roaring 20s we're gonna have to space these out really a lot better like we're gonna have to really take our time what we'll probably have to do for the Roaring 20s is we'll probably have to just like take all the original stuff out that's what I'm thinking and then just do it ourselves 
because we'll have to build a skyline. We'll have to build all kinds of things. A lake. Uh, that build's gonna be fairly a fairly big build. This one was big, but I think that one will be a little bigger. I've been looking up things so I can see what it looks like and Oh, it's going to have to be a lot of cobblestone, roads, uh, things like that. Kind of a vintage build. I think it'll be fun. Just on some cliffs here. When this shovel wants to work right. Just going to add more space. Um, some of this I can do this with, some of this will not probably let me, but we'll keep going and see what we can get here. This is needed done for a long time, so we're going to do it. Got to get the space on the front, especially to build it the way that I'm wanting to build it or it won't let me. So we're going to do that in this video and I... Uh, just trying to get stuff done. Let's add it and see if this makes this too tight. This was my worry that if I added more here, it would make the yards too tight. But I think we'll be okay as long as we watch what we do. And then I'll come back and I'll round it off in corners to make it look a little prettier. Terraforming is not exactly my strongest. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm okay with the decorating and some, some really simple pathing. The terraforming is kind of what I struggle with. Cliffs and water both. It's getting the spacing in it that I need, that I struggle with. Um, probably should practice a ton before I do this next island. But we'll make it. Let's round this off. We just want them to look nice. We don't want them to look like we just straight up threw them in there and that was it. So... They're a little prettier if you round them off. That works for me. Let's look on the map. That's looking better already. Let's fill in this one gap here. Maybe we should just get rid of all the gaps. That would make it look love. But that looks better already. All right. Let's try to take it one more length and see what we got as far as decorating. We cannot do anything here, unfortunately, because of the staircases. So, that's going to be... This looks good, right? Do we see any gaps in this one? Mm, no, we're good, I think. That actually does not look real bad. Okay, let's leave some of it. Oh, rock. Let's dig this fossil up. This is my savings account. We're just finding all kinds of things. Umbrellas. I wonder if we'll find any bells or eggs. Keep your eye out. You never know what you might find on the on ramen. We've had so many challenges and stuff. We are getting there with this, I feel. I feel like, all in all, for the most part, I did a pretty good job. Jigaloid, I love those. All right, let's see how much space we have. We need to grab a storage shed, so let's go find one really quickly, because we need to find one. We're gonna need it. We're gonna fix it, guys. We're gonna fix it. <laughs> We're gonna get it all matched up as good as the front. I think the front looks really good now, I really do. I. I'm really pleased with the front of this island. Like, I think I finally got it the way I want it. It took a minute, but I think we got it. 
before I set the dream address, I will come back and like, oh yeah, we probably should go to Harv's Island. Yep, we're getting there. We need to do Glowing Moss too. Okay, but we're going to focus on the back because I got it all tore out. We need to fix it. I think we're getting there. I really do. I, f I feel like this is not too bad. I can find a storage chest though, so hang with me for a minute. We could add more in if we need it. And we're gonna... We may not fix this part today. We may just fix some in the back. I'll keep working off camera and then I can show you what I did. But it's just down to that now. It's just down to this stuff here. Cleaning up the weeds, cleaning up the sticks, getting all the pine trees set. We're getting it. I'm really proud of this. There's a butterfly. Those are so pretty. Picking up all the stray like storage sheds, picking up all the stray workbenches. It's kind of what we're down to is just these little things. Okay, let me just go to the house and get one. I don't see one. I thought I had one yesterday, but I guess I didn't. Let me go grab it so we're not just running all over the island. I don't feel like I'm doing very good today, but it's all right. Maybe I left it over here for some reason. I do this a lot. These, I should not be allowed to have these storage sheds. All right, let's go pick one up because we are going to need it. Because we're going to have to path it out and then we're going to have to put the walls down to see how much more space we've built into it. We will leave. I'm going to make some of these golden ladders so that it looks more um, like dressed up. For people who come to the island, like on the dream address and stuff like that, to get around a little bit easier. So I will be doing that in the next week or so too, on certain parts that I didn't get any, um, like clips. Okay, let me see what I got. We're just going to put it all in storage. We'll, all, we'll put it all back, but we're going to put it away for now because it's, it's got in my pockets and it's too much. So I found three umbrellas that you guys didn't find. Oh, I love the candy umbrellas. No, I didn't want to drop it. We're, I feel like, you know, we're getting the house. We're getting the outside. I feel like we're getting there. Not the workbench. I probably put it away on accident. It's probably what I did. I've got so many gyroids. And I was thinking... That we should put some chicoloids and stuff out when we get ready to end it on the outside. I don't think any of this is. Let's put this up. That's the workbench. Yeah, I probably just did it on accident. So we can find it. I know we have them. Um, we do need to go to Harv's though. Going to do the beaches. Big process. Well, where's it at? Are you kidding me? There we go. Let's take two just in case we run into this problem again. Okay, let's go. I feel like we can make it by the first Saturday in June. I'm... I'm Starting to hope we can. So let's let's lay some dirt down so we can get this done. I feel like this is what we should have done from the beginning and we didn't. That's okay. We're getting it now and that's all that matters. We're going to add space. We're going to path. Well, let me do it underneath there, will it? Okay. Well, let's not take it this far down. That way it doesn't look funny. Let's kind of try to maybe draw the outline line from 
there's Shady. There's old Shady Red. I have got a story for this next time for the Roaring Twenties. He's going to be a big part of it. So stay tuned. It's going to be great. I can't wait. He and Tom Nook are up to some shady stuff. We're going to outline them, which is what we should have done from the beginning. But we didn't. I just put it down. I knew that I would have to come back and fix things. I just knew I would. So I just tried to be like, okay, uh, now it's time. It's time to outline it. So let's do it. Because this is the, like, the castle up here. So we need to make sure that we get it all pathed out good. So the only way to do that is to take everything up and do this. Because you cannot, you know, work around all that stuff. We are going to put it back exactly like we had it. And um, it might even look better. You never know. Because we're giving it more space. So that is important. We are going to path it all the way back here too um i know you can't see it very well but i think it just looks better in my personal opinion we're going to change the outsides of these houses too we did change them to look more castle like um which is something that i want to see if you can do so we might do that here in a minute check it out once we get it all outlined we're going to do the dirt first. I love how you can see your footprints in the dirt. I think it's so kind of neat. So we're going to do this first. I'm sorry it took me so long, but we are going to do some things before we wrap it up. We're going to change the houses uh, to look more castle-like. I want to do it like this. What we might have to do is separate the museum from it a little bit. Just for the simple fact that it won't let me do that in a straighter line. I feel like we need to get it more cohesive. See, like this needs to be built on too. So that you can take it all the way across. So, let's do that. There's a ladder here actually that works. Just like I said, these are just little things. That have needed fixed for a while that haven't gotten fixed. So, we're going to do it on stream. I may even make a few videos about it, but we're going to get it. Kind of, kind of concentrate while I'm holding this shovel. They trip me up bad sometimes. We need to make sure it's all done in the back here too. Because it, it is important to, like, I've learned something, and I just want to say, like, most people already knew this. But when I'm laying paths, I notice that if the clips are more even, it's better. I, I didn't ever realize that until I started building this one. And then I was like, oh, that's why the pathing looks like that. So I've learned a lot of things about building. So I'm, I don't want to block him off though. Okay. Maybe that's far enough. Because we'll block that off if we're not careful. You won't be able to get down there. Oh, we can always leave a ladder, but. Okay, let's fill this notch in. Alright, let's try this. Because we don't want to block it off so bad you can't get down here. Let's take some of this off. Actually, maybe that'll help. With the passing. Um, and maybe it'll actually help with. There not being so much space back here. Alright let's see if that's more even. My work actually. Okay let's try it. We want everything to be like 
same size and even and like work together. But I don't want to block Red's beach off because I don't think that would be good either. Of course, it's just going to be a dream address, so I don't know that it'll matter. But still. Yeah, we need to take that corner off. It's going to be a little uneven looking. Let's take this corner off. Because we want the path to lay down, but we don't want it to look all janky. Okay, that's good. Let's take this out. I'd have to take it out all the way across. Did you hear me moan? I was like, ugh. I was like, no, nah, I don't want to. Okay. We'll try this for now. If I need to take it off all the way across, I will. But this doesn't look bad. You're not really going to see it in the back. It's just a me thing, I guess. Okay, it's not going to let me do it there. So let me see how far up I can do it. Here? Okay. You might have to just... Okay. This might work. And lay it down. And yeah, that works. That's much better. If we had to get it got across, it's fine. It might actually look better if we do. We'll go ahead and lay it down like this. I might take it off all the way across and make it a little thinner and a little less bulky. That might make it look all the way together better up here. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Might not be able to though because we put like the inclines up here now. That might okay, not gonna be able to do it like that. Okay, that's fine. Now we don't want it like this. Hang on. So we might have to leave it since we've built like structures. That's okay though if we do. Now what we need to do this round is we need to kind of build like this into it. Let's see if it'll let me. This into it somehow. So it's going like not here. We don't want it here. Right. We don't want it there. We don't. We want it here. But we want it a certain way. Okay, that works. And then we want it. See, this is what I should have done the first time that I didn't do. Because that's why it looks so weird. We want to make sure of where we want it. Okay, here we go. Well, how far down we want it. Because we got to figure out, do we just want it under the walls? Do you want to leave this clear so we can plant things? Probably. I would say probably. So let's just keep outlining. So, so we can plant things, but that way it's filled in too. And we need to fix the cliffs. So we're, we're getting there. Let's just keep working at it. See, like we don't we don't like we could put a bush or something here if we don't pass it see what I mean if we leave this clear so that's what we need to think about well let me go any deeper back into here yes okay let's do it just laying the dirt down and this dirt looks good so we're gonna use this dirt then we'll uh, We'll do some other things, but yes, this needs done. I'm going to try to get time this week to like work like 
off camera with it too. We can always look at it on streams and videos and stuff like that. Yeah, this is better. So see if we leave this open. See, like we can move this. Ava. Okay, so we can move this. And we can put all the flowers and stuff back in. We don't necessarily need a path all the way down in here. We could put cedar trees here. See what I mean? So, like, we could do this. Oh, it's going to tell me there's not, but I know there is. It's probably because of the incline, though. We could do this. See what I mean? Like, this looks a lot better. And then we don't have to path it so far down. Yes, I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, maybe, no way. I don't know if that'll work or not. Hang on, because we gotta put the walls back, right? Okay, so that might not work. Okay, so let's test our, let's test this out. I need some more fruit anyway. Let's put a storage chest down out of our way. And let's test it. I forgot about the walls. There's my, I've got, oh, I've got put two in my pocket, didn't I? I like I put two of these. Okay, hang on. Before we do this, let's snatch this back up. Let's put a strip here. And we could put a flower here. Now, flower, I know we could do here. One here. We could put one here. Okay, that looks nice. Now we could put, will this connect up though? It stops there, okay, I don't wanna, let's see what it looks like. We could always take that curve in the incline, or in the cliff out. Oh, this looks nice. Okay, let's take the curve in this out. I have a ladder, right? Sometimes it just takes a minute to get going. You got to really think about about everything, and that's that's the trouble with some of this. Like to even it out, you got to take space off. So that makes it a little bit difficult, but it's all good. You don't want it to be, you want it to be even, because it's going to look better if it's even. Might have to change the design a little bit, but the pathing and everything will make more sense. And that's sometimes what's important. Alright, let's try this. See, we're evening it up. It's going to be less space back here, but we really don't need the space in the back. Now, see how it's all even? Okay. I feel like I'm learning. I don't think I want it that far. So, I think, okay, let's try this and see what happens. So, let's lay this one down and see now with the dirt under it how we feel about it. It's pretty. I think it'll match the walls. So let's just start with it across here. Oh, wow. This is nice. Yeah, I like this. And then we could even it up there so it's not built on a curve and not even, not laying even. You understand what I mean? Okay, we can get rid of that. I think we can put more dirt inside of here. Let's try it. Yep. Yep. Now let's climb down here and fix this real quick before we go. Yeah, this is a lot better. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot better. I feel like we could take this section back here oh, off. 
Let's even it out. The more even we are, I think the better off we're going to be as far as laying pads down. We can add the space in the front and we can take away in the back. I think it's just an experiment. When we start putting these walls on, we might find out different, but I don't think so. So let's just take some more of this off. We want it to lay even. I think the only way it's going to do that is if I do this. Like it's going to lay even unless I do. And if we don't need this much space in the back, then why have it? Just fixing things. Been putting this off for a while. Not my favorite thing to do. Okay, that's fine. Because that stops there. So I really think that's okay. See how even it is now in the back? I kind of think this looks a little bit better. I know. Out of the ladder. Okay. And that keeps red speech open. Now let's do this. Much better. Much, much better. Much better, better, better. And it even makes the houses look better. See what I mean? It makes it look more like yeah, much better. Okay, let's lay some of this down before we uh, run out of time. And let's put the walls down and see how we feel about it. So we at least know if we got it. Oh, yeah, this is much better. See how it kind of just outlines it? Okay, I'm going to go back and do this down in Hogsmeade too. But yeah, this is much better. I don't know though about this landing. I think we need to change this. Uh, let's build this dirt a little different. So it's actually like a landing when we come up here. So let's do it sort of like. It really won't let you though. Can we build it out like. Yeah, I guess it's just going to be like that. We'll kind of have to live with it, I suppose. Or I can work with it later. But yeah, I think as far as this goes, this is much better. Get your outline going. And then you can lay your pathing. Oh yeah. This looks nice. It matches everything too. And when we change these houses. It will match the other houses. So that'll be good. It will match mine though. Yep. This looks nice. Now we're going to take it kind of around the back. I'm telling you. This has been a fun project from start to finish, but it's been a learning project, actually. I have took the time to really take my time and to really, you know, like, not just leave it. Like, I knew this needed fixed, and... I kind of dreaded it, but I was like, oh, you have to fix it. You can't leave it like that. So, kind of glad I did this. Let's fill it in in the back. Sometimes it won't let you put exactly where you want it, but... This is going to be a little thinner across the front. I still think it's going to be okay. It's going to be a little thinner here. But as long as we outline them all that way, I think it'll be okay. We may have to add a little more because of the walls. You know, we might want it to stretch down into the path. But I think as long as we out keep outlining this stuff, we'll be fine.
I think it'll match the castle, castle walls, too. We're just going to fill in this part and try them, and then we're going to probably wrap it up. I can't see, but I think it'll move the camera for me when I start back here. Oh, yeah, I, I like this. I like this a lot better than that other one. I'm not going to get an exact match, but if I get it close, I think that's good enough. Get it outlined good. We can even put some, like, dirt down for the flowers if we wanted to. Kind of decorate around them. Well, we don't want the path all the way into there. We want to leave some room for trees, if we can. Because right, we, we need the trees and stuff. So if we can manage it, we need to. I think we got it enough that we can see what the walls would look like anyway. This is really a lot better. This is a lot better. Yep, this is a lot better. Okay, so let's, let's see. I needed some fruit and I didn't get it. Oh, wait, I got a peach. Let's just eat the one that Raymond gave me. Lucky, lucky peach. <laughs> It was a rough start, and I apologize, but once we got started, I think we, I think we accomplished a few things today. Now, let's get this storage shed out, and let's just see how much further down I would have to come with this. We can always put trees on the ends. Okay, let me find the storage shed. There it is. Okay, now we're going to use the gray sides, towers, and walls in this. Let's see what we got. Let's just start building it back the way we had it. So let me think about this. So we need the walls. And I'm probably going to need more gray walls. But I can grab those. But this will probably put it back the way I had it. So let's try it. Let's grab a few towers. Okay, let's see how I had it. So I did have a tower on the end. So let's just kind of start it maybe like this. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. It's still not a real good match, but I don't think it looks bad. Oh, yeah, we need a gate. We need to be able to walk around it is the only thing. We need some gates here because the gates are going to be for the openings in the doors. So you don't block the doors. <laughs> Forgot about the gates. Just grab a couple. I think my pockets are almost full. So if we put a gate here. And then we could push this back a little bit. Okay. We could put... I can put a wall on it. Let's see what it would look like. And that doesn't look bad. It's not an exact match, but it's it's not bad. I think we're just going to have to go with it because I just, you know. Let's put the building side in and see. I like the building sides a lot better than the walls, but I know you got to use them, so. This looks nice. See how much better this looks? And then you could put, let's see, like another wall on it. And push it. And then we could put a gate here, because it gated each door, right? Yeah, I like this. I think this is a lot better. I don't know why I need a gate. I did it before, so I know there is. And then if we get more room into this. Yep, this is better. Okay, let's make sure we can get in the door. We can. Now if we put more room into this, let's put another building site on. Hang on, we got Then we have room for... 
the lanterns and all that and you have plenty of room to walk around right yep yep it's better much better look how much more room you got this is much better yeah much better now you can okay so i am gonna put this brick out here so i am gonna do it like this i have decided it's kind of how one of the other one to look but it's so connected up or i could leave it off because we're just going to put a tall lantern back or something to that degree okay i'm liking this yeah this is i think a lot better and then you could put your tall lanterns back out like i had them so let's let's test it and see get something out let's see if i can find them Got a ton of them. Let's try it. So I had the tall lanterns built in to here, but there wasn't enough space. They looked pretty, but you couldn't get around them. Let's see if you can now. Yep. They won't push back still, but you can walk around it. See? And you can place these like I wanted to before. And we can pick these back up. I just want to test. Yes, there is. Let's push it over a little. Yeah. This is much better. You're not going to get so much interference in walking. Oh, yeah. Much better. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to leave it just like this, and I am going to work on it. I'm going to keep tweaking things. We're gonna, I'm going to put it back like I had it. I may not put the topiaries back. Um, I may just plant a bush on each side. Well, on one side anyway. And we could put the trees here. Um, let's see what it would look like. Let's see if it would block what we got. Let's pick this up. We could put a tree here if we turn this way maybe yeah see and then we could probably put like a tree here but does it block no it really doesn't block it does it let's see we can move around it I like this yeah this looks a lot better and I think the pathing is a nice contrast to the to what we got okay I I mean I think it looks tons better let's pull these or maybe into the castle wall because it's so plain you know what I mean like when you push it over here because the castle wall is kind of a little bit plainer yeah I like that a little bit better and we can do the same thing here. Maybe pull it over here. Well, or we can put in another castle wall. Let's try it. Let's put in another one real quick and then we'll wrap it up. But yeah, this, I think, um, I think tearing this apart and redoing it was the ticket. It looks so pretty. And I mean, you can walk around this thing now. You could, you could not walk around this. This had to be fixed. And we could put one here. Well, not there. Shoot, I need fruit now. But you get what I mean. Like, we can move it. And then we can put these against the castle walls. And you can walk. So I think that's important. Because before we couldn't even walk around it. Let me get, let me grab some real quick and move this. Yeah. This is nice. 
and we'll continue to path it. Um, we'll continue to path it. Uh, it takes a while to get it. Sometimes it just takes doing it and doing it and doing it, unfortunately. Okay, let's go to this side of things. I collect fruit from Nook Miles Ticket Islands and I bring it back with me and I use it for this so I don't have to shake my fruit trees. Okay, let's move this. But I'm pretty sure if we can get it further back, I just didn't get it far enough back, that this would be okay like this. And then we would have trees in our build. I'm trying to get everything into the build, like, you know, trees, bushes, flowers now too. I know there is though or is it just going to be the same result yeah okay well i can build more onto this if i need to for trees but at least we now know that this is going to fit so this looks nice i do like this i think this is a lot lot better not gonna let me push it though but that's okay get the pathing in you can at least walk around it now, which is really important. And maybe we don't need tree here. Maybe we just do bushes or flowers here or stunted trees. We could stunt them too. And I think if we stunted some trees, we could have them up here. That's what we'll do. We'll stunt some. And then we'll put the littler ones up here. So we have trees in the build. Yeah, I think this is nice. This looks pretty good. Not bad. You just have to keep working with it sometimes. Unfortunately, it took a while to get the back. So, but we're getting it. As soon as we change these houses around too, it'll be a lot better. It all match better. Because you are going to be able to see them through here a little bit. So, I hate changing Raymond's house, but we're going to have to. Because we're going to have to make it match. Okay. Then we got to figure out what we're going to do with all this space. Like, we got to figure out if we want another courtyard on the end of this thing. Or if we want to take this cold cliff out. Those are decisions that I need to make today. Or over the, you know, course of time. Um, would it look better if we shortened it up? And then kind of, um, or we could, we could actually fence it off and then we could build this freaking shack over here because Hogsmeade is here. So we could kind of like block this off. Like this is the end of Hogwarts because Hogsmeade is over here. Let's look at this real quick and then we will be done. This is why I do most of this kind of building on stream. Because if you get to building on these, you can really do it for a long time. So we could... Because Hogsmeade's right here. And this isn't going to look right to have it into here. On the end of this. But we could like... Or we could just figure it out some other way. This is really tight, but there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, is what it is. It's pretty though. It's been a massive build, but you can see, you see, you can see the castle too. I like that, that you can see the outline of it. Okay, I, I think we've got a winner here. This is the campground, campsite, in case you didn't see it the other night when I built it. So this is staying right here, the campsite. I liked it. Temper is going to be the post office. So, all right. I'm going to wrap it up right here. Or we're going to be here all day. And you don't want that. So, thank you for watching. And sticking with me, even in the rough parts of the video. Um, if you like the content, be sure to give it a thumbs up or a like. If you like cozy content mixed with a little bit of um, fun chaos, um, hit that subscribe button for me. I'm two away from 250 which is halfway there. Um, so hit that button, please. And uh, 
You can leave me a comment on what you think, think about the brick, the build. All I ask is that you be kind and respectful about it. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. And I will see you in the next one, everybody. Bye-bye.